Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to dockerize and react and Laravel application. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. And the frontend is done on React, for which you can find a list of tutorials in our channel. Let's start with it. Let's add Docker to our project. Docker is really useful when it comes to having multiple apps. In our current app we have to set separately the frontend and separately the backend. If we have more apps, it will be even more painful. Luckily, Docker can help us running all the apps into one single Docker Compose file. All the apps running inside Docker are called containers. Let's see it now. First, we have to download the installer and install Docker to our app. The installation is pretty simple and I already installed Docker. After you install Docker, go to your development folder and here are our apps that we created right now. I will create another directory that will contain both of these apps. I will call it auth. Now we need to move our files. Let's move Laravel API to our folder auth. Also move react to our auth folder too. Let's open our project with our IDA and we will make some changes. First, I will rename this folder into backend. Then, I will rename this folder into frontend. Let's also delete the IDA here because they are files that PHP Storm needs. Now in the main folder let's create a docker compose.yam file. In the backend folder create a docker file. And in the frontend folder create a docker file too. So the Docker files in the backend and frontend folders will run the backend or frontend container. In small words, the Docker file in the backend folder will run the Laravel app and the Docker file in the frontend folder will run the React app. So the container, but none of the containers, doesn't know for the other container. So the backend container won't know about the frontend container and the frontend container won't know about backend container. Docker Compose will run both apps and will enable the communication between these apps. Let's see how to create the communication between them by creating the backend Docker Compose file. The first thing we need to do is to specify the version. 3.7 Next, we will list our services, which in our case are our backend, our frontend and we also have another service which is the database. All these services need to be connected with each other via a network. So I will create a network called app and the driver will be bridge. So in essence, all the containers don't know about each other, but when we specify a network there, which will be an app network, let's specify it for all the containers. Now they will know for each other, because they are on the same network. Let's create the DB service now, because it is very simple. Let's start by specifying an image. In this case, I want MySQL version 5.7.22. It's better to specify the version because when you have another version, may require different configurations and may throw exceptions. Then we need to add the environment variables. The environment variables that we need are MySQL database. I will name it auth. Then 
MySQL user. I will just name it root. MySQL password. I will put it as root. And MySQL root password. This will be the password for the admin of the database. I will put it as root2. Now let's move to our backend. The first thing we need to do is to specify a build. The build will specify where is our location for our Docker file. So we need to tell the build where is located this Docker file. It's not as straightforward as just specifying the Docker file. We need to set the context first, which is the backend folder, and the Docker file will be Docker file. Let's do the same thing for the frontend, which is build context slash frontend. And the Docker file will be the Docker file. Now we need to set our environment variables. The environment variables that we should add here are the environment variables that we added here for the MySQL connection. Let's paste them here and let's change the equals to a column. We specified here that the password is root, so we need to change this to root. Now the DB host is not localhost, but it should be this container. So we have to change the DB host to just DB. The DB port is the same, so we can remove it here. That's it for the DB connection, but since we are dependent on another container, we need to write also depends on DB here. So this container needs a DB container to be up and running, so it can run. The next thing we need to add is the port, which should be 8000, column 8000. This means that this is our external port, in which we connect via our local host. And this 8000 is the container port, which we specified here. this port. One last thing we need to add is volumes. Volumes are used for detecting changes to our backend and moving them to our container. So anytime a change happens, they will synchronize our container with our local files. So our backend folder will be connected to our app slash backend, which is a working directory. So this is it for our backend container. Now let's do the same thing for our frontend container. Let's set the ports, which is 3000, 3000. The volumes. which is frontend app slash frontend and also this frontend needs to call a backend API so we need to tell it that is dependent on the backend so the backend is dependent on the DB and the frontend is dependent on the backend And one last thing that we have to change here, because I had problems on my previous test, is to specify TTY to true here. Why did I add this line here? Basically, because frontend needs to run slowly the backend and sometimes the container will be killed before the frontend runs. So this line is to keep the connection live until frontend is running. So everything looks fine. And let's try to run this up now. 
Now let's run this docker compose file with all these containers. Open the terminal and write docker compose up. So now docker is pulling all the images and running all the containers. This will take a long time to complete. Looks like we got an error from node Alpine. I made an error here where we should remove this age now. So let's run it again. So the docker compose file runs successfully. We can see here the logs that all the containers are running. If we open the page, we can see that our app is running fine. But if we try to log in, we will get this error now. It means we don't have the database for now because we need to run all the migrations. Let's do that in the next tutorial.